I'm Terry, and I live in Southern California. I'm married to a wonderful man. We have a very active life. I love to play tennis, and my husband and I both like to cycle, so we, we get on our bikes and we ride. Most of my life, I've been very active and always involved with nutrition. My father had uh, a heart a quadruple bypass when he was uh, 55 years old. So, and I was only in my 20s. So the heart has always been my motivation for being active. I try to balance out my meals so that I have a little protein, a little carb. My greatest challenge postmenopausal is getting a balance with my food and my activity so that I don't have weight gain. I would like some tips on how to maintain my, my weight, to balance my weight so it's not fluctuating day in and day out. I'm registered dietitian Elizabeth Summer, and the first thing Terry should do when it comes to managing her weight is to focus on the three magic ingredients for weight loss, protein, fiber, and water. And that can be as simple as whole grain bread, which you can use in your favorite recipes, such as sandwiches and French toast. It can be legumes like cooked dried beans and peas, which are high in all those three, protein, fiber, and water. Black beans, kidney beans, garbanzo beans. Extra lean meats, such as turkey, tuna are also good items. Items. Fruits and vegetables are another one, high in water and fiber, you want to load the plate with these. These foods tend to fill you up before they fill you out, so you push away from the table before you've consumed too much and overeaten. Eating regularly is also important for weight management because you want to eat when you're comfortably hungry rather than ravenous. If you eat every four to five hours, you stay in control of your appetite, but if you wait too long, you become ravenous and then your appetite controls you and you're likely to eat too much and all the wrong stuff. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to weight management is portion control. Even if you eat really healthy, you can still gain weight if you eat too much. So I really recommend that for a few days, get out the food scale, get out the measuring cups and measuring spoons, and weigh and measure your food to get an idea of proper serving sizes. For instance, a serving of meat should be about three ounces, which is the size of a deck of cards. A muffin should be about an ounce, not the four ounces of most muffins at a coffee shop. Getting an idea of what are clear portion size looks like will have a big effect on managing your weight today and down the road. For Slices of Life, I'm Registered Dietitian Elizabeth Summer.